Okay. What we have here is my worm farm. How be it, it is small. The, I had planned on enlarging it later on after I see how this one does. I don't use a lot of worms, but when I do use worms, what I use them for is I use them to catch perch. I perch jerk, and I catch me up a bunch of perch, and I use those perch for my trot line. And um, <clears throat> uh, after I catch the catfish on my trot line, well, then I skin them and fillet them, and I give them to elderly people and uh, elderly men and women that can't go out and fish. Now, there's a lot better videos on YouTube than what I have on worm farming. As a matter of fact, that's where I got mine from was as I went on YouTube and got a general idea of what all that it would take. So, what I done was, is I took this old ice chest and I drilled holes in the bottom of it. And I filled it with real good topsoil. Then I bought some Canadian night crawlers. They they come 18 in a box. Canadian night crawlers. And they say that they're the best for reproducing. And so, of course, I got lettuce, eggshells, and uh, vegetables, banana peels, all of that in there. That's what the worms eat. And from what I understand is, is it takes a while, maybe three or four months, and those worms uh, should reproduce. And so, I don't know, this is uh, the end of December, right before uh, Christmas 2022. And so what I'm hoping is, maybe by March... I should have some worms, baby worms crawling around in there and doing good. Now, I know that that does look nasty. And it is. I don't know. blooper folks now I've had I've had them worms in here for several months already and I know that you're alive because when I took the lid off of it the other day and started digging through here they all there was a bunch of big ones come up to the surface. Let's see if we can find any. Hmm. Let me rethink this, folks. Oh, God, what an embarrassment. Oh, there's one. Goodness. Might have to redo this video when I can find a worm. Oh, there's one. Okay. Canadian Nightcrawler. Now, I know 